Hello all, my name is Martin Mahan. I'm an actor, playwright, and human rights activist from the traveling community. And I have lived in Tralee all my life. And it was on this very stage where my performance life began. There was a group here in Chimsatira called the Free Radicals Youth Theater. And that's where I learned how to write and act. We did three shows a year, and I learned with and from each other. I also got involved in every local group that I could, from musicals to drama, enhancing my performance skills at every opportunity that I could. I learned how to put words into a story, and also how a performance can change, but also challenge a belief. And I think that the arts mean so much to me is because Irish culture is so much influenced by traveler culture. Everything from matchmaking to music, the arts have given me a chance to advocate a voice for those whose voice is not yet heard. And I have been fortunate enough to work on television, stage, and film with the best of Irish and international talent. People such as Stuart Carolyn, Huey Mahan, John Connors, and Jim Sheridan. Each one of them has taught me how their life, but also how their performance and art is shaped by their performance, their life experiences, but also who they are. And I've been very fortunate to win awards for my work as well, allowing me to meet with other community leaders, but also allowing me to meet with other advocates of mental health and human rights. And I'm also so fortunate that people of my own age know me, but also they can relate to me. Because I know them, they know me. We understand each other. They know by confiding in me with their issues and their concerns that I will bring it to those who need it to be heard. And I am so inspired by people who have gone before me, people such as Eileen Flynn from the traveling community, who now serves as a senator, an Irish senator, working right under the Irish prime minister. It's the examples and stepping stones of these giants from all different areas whether it's speaking on national television or national radio, to actually go into the house of Euractus and observing the work of our government and our elected representatives makes me and encourages me a lot, lot more to make our voice to be heard to those who need to hear it. And this is a path that I will continue to follow. There's many areas of our society who have faced and suffered trauma, isolation, rejection, because of the issues that we face, including mental health, sexual preference, and suicide. And all of these have been affected even more by the fallout of a global pandemic. And I'm not just going to put it down to one group. All over the world, other minority and ethnic groups have suffered race, racial and discrimination abuse. And it's about high time that it gets addressed. Because before you can solve a problem, you have to recognize that there is a problem. And the work that we are going to do is going to be for you. The work and effort going forward addressing these suicide issues and mental health issues, the people I work for is going to work on your behalf. And I promise you that. The best is yet to come. Those dark and isolated feelings will go. You will laugh again. You will love again. You will be happy again. You are not alone. The best is yet to come. We are doing this for you. Thank you.